Hi guys, welcome back to Divinity Original Mysterious Cave. That's apparently what we saw down there. That that's the mysterious cave actually that's in that area. Uh, that's that's what we were wondering. That's um, like the the place that was inaccessible, and that's what it was actually. Now that I think about it, that's what it is. So let's let's go. You need a skull down there. Let's go make our way over there. So we actually need to go and what do we mean skull? Let's go teleport away. Oops, not ping. Oh wait, what are you talking about? Is a skull still there, or is that? Well, the, the skull entrance down there, right? Yeah. yeah. That dragon wants to kill the witch, and yeah. she was in there. Is that what you're talking about? Is that what we want to go? Yeah. So, but we have to like make our way over there. It's a waypoint right down there. But we don't have it yet. I do. How do you have it? It's called Dragon's Beach. The fuck. Well, look uh, at me, I guess I'll sit here and pop open a cold one. Oh, there you are. <laughs> no, this is not it. You're fucking idiot, honestly. I took, you told you. It's like, hey, it's down here, right? You're no, like, this is like, the, no, yeah. this is the witch's... No, you said it's, you just described a skull. You didn't ping it or anything. All right, follow me. Fuck face. Uh, it's on your map. It, it counts as like a cave entrance or some shit. I'm too busy getting all these skull piles. Yeah, fuck. I'll catch you. Fuck you. I want to I wanna go do the, like, the side thing there. <laughs> so do I with this loot here. I have other obligations right now. All right, we're we're walking over here, and this is gonna take a while. So, <clears throat> I'm 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 traveling over here. So have fun with that. It's like chopping down trees in Warcraft, man. Mm. I think I saw some alligators or something on that beach. So we need to fight that shit. Oh, of course, we haven't combat in like a while. Uh, no, 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 we fought this like one fucking zombie. Like the entire like last episode was just like like oh we're in the fucking what we thought was the vaults of Brackus Rex, but I don't I actually don't think that's what it was actually at all. It was something of Brackus. I got a handkerchief. Holy shit, that's mine. A handkerchief. The fuck. I'm getting I'm getting epics from these bone piles, man. I got another I got another oil barrel. Good. Actually, I want to go ahead and stop it. Fort Joy. Why? So I can drop off these oil barrels, stockpile them. Okay. That'll be fine. I'm, I mean, I, I'm in a cool new place, alright? I'll catch up. What the fuck is this, actually? Well, let me know if you want me to transfer you to you another oil barrel. I should go ahead and do that. Start oh. to me. Uh, no, that, that's okay. I'm just gonna kill some Boy, voidlings. We meet again. Ah! Where's Seville and all this? Oh, she's like right here. So why is Ethan so... Ah, oh, whatever. Let's deposit my one barrel. Whatever, I can handle these. These are level 4. You're not missing anything. Experience, though. Don't do it. <laughs> Dude, they, they came... coming, alright? Calm down. They came out of nowhere. Where are you at? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I'm coming. Calm I'm down. lost. Alright, I'm gonna go play Solitaire or something. What would you advance with me? Consume a corpse. Why would I advance without you? I just wanted to go to the fucking beach. I want to go. I'm to coming. The, I want to go to the mysterious cave, and there's like two oil barrels here, and I'm like, that that looks that looks fun. It's delicious. The oil, oil barrels. Yeah. Tactical oil barrels. I'm coming. I'm gonna miss that. Oh, it wasn't crocodile, it was a salamanders. Oh yeah, it's like that, yeah. You could talk to them, what the fuck? Alright, get in here, you fucking shitberg. Beast. I'm gonna stop you, stop him again, and actually, I'm gonna get him into the melee. So you just do your own thing, just don't let me know when anything you turn. Alright. Alright, I'm ending my turn now. Alright, okay, let me just, uh... I'm not, I'm not killing anything anyways. Hey girl. You're not trying to escape, yes. are you? Is it bleeding? Yeah, it's bleeding. It's gonna die next turn anyways. Vermin, thieves, pests, you take that back, you leeches. piece of shit. This world is ours. Yeah, why are these cockroaches? Yeah, right, yeah, right. Okay, Amon, get out. <laughs> Examine, let's see. It's got uh earth and poison resistance. Yeah, this is like these are not as I said, these are not even fights. I don't even know why you're like it was experience. I don't want to like mess things up. Ricochet. I mean, I could. 
I mean, I think the first thing you could do is ricochet, is that chicken's in the middle, right? So it's bound to bounce. Yeah! Wow. What the fuck? Oh, uh, God, there's more? Oh, God, it just got worse. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Fuck. I'm, I'm thinking about... <laughs> yeah, then it's level four, you said. Star Cloud Arrow is very small. I mean, I don't think you, could, you should go that desperate. They're in level four. Come on. I mean, dude, it's getting worse. <laughs> this is this is the moment where fucking like whatever that thing is comes comes out and tries to kill us. More of them. These beasts are damn persistent. And you're not wrong. Right, is it water? To, I can make a healing thing if you're worried. I mean, nah, I'm not worried. Fuck him. I want a blood one then. Blood. Just get, please keep them away from C Bill. No promises. Uh, this. Because you should be able to knock them down. They're like in a perfect line for you. If you don't do that, then I'm gonna fucking be very disappointed. You're gonna riot. Yeah. I'll encourage to deal so you're just gonna get fucked over. I mean, uh, but when she has full vitality, she has more crit. This could be interesting. Yeah. Is there, was there any high ground here that I was able to take advantage of? Not really. Please knock them down. Okay, apparently I cannot get that one in the back. I... Just move up a little bit. It's fine. I'm gonna have to. Yeah. That's valuable movement right there. Like, it's right. just a waste. There's that talent where you get like one AP for, worth of free movement. It's actually probably worth Yeah, the worth. pawn, but you eat scoundrel for that. Oh, do you? Uh. Oop. I should probably go to bull rush, but oh well. Uh, I know what I can do. I can I, I can help you out super a lot. Oh, okay. Stand here. Bamf. That yeah, works. Even more physical armor. Die. Pass away. Your essence feeds. You <laughs> no. <have> Dark, no. <laughs> Not the essence. Oh, he's slowed. Squash our vermin. All right. <laughs> Small call for an exterminator. Uh, that's actually really cool. I I, I just tried out. Uh, it was barrage. Barrage. Yeah, I did two on one target and then uh, one on the other. Yeah, remember in the first game, you, you have to use it all in one. Stop squirming. All right. Uh, oh, hey, more. Oh goody. Oh, every turn they're they're spawning more of them. All right. No, I think it's whenever we kill a certain amount of them, they spawn more. Just keep putting them down. Okay. I think we got this. It's fine. Oh no, I'm trying to say not think not good. You always think not good. Yeah. We're born and not good, molded by it. Come on, I can, I can. Come on, don't, don't, don't cheat me out of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, what can I do here? Uh, atrophy. Uh, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of oil barrels here. I don't see anything really we should, good. We don't need to use them though, because there's a lot of resources right now. I guess so. Just trying to think of what I can do here. It's. I, I don't really have any AoE, I just have to hit shit. Just kill one of them, I think, because then you're not flanked anymore. Well, I said I did kill my best. one. Jeez. I did my best. How many points is this going to do something you. No, I can't. Okay. So, what I'll do, I'll stand, like, over here and. St Stop block this guy. Yeah, a, a lot of them are brought to many move. And we all. We were first. We were first. We are the beginnings. <laughs> no, <laughs> stop it! No, you what? You did it. <laughs> no, you <laughs> what? Shit. We want the meld. And he's what? just he's just going through the fire. Wait, why did the why did it go away? What? It's we Steve. Ate now. it all. Could they do that? 
Wait, what? It's like, I think it's just going by, going away on the timer. Yeah, I'm so That's confused. weird. I kind of wanted to use clear mind, but it means I would be sacrificing, uh... Yeah, fuck it, you know what? I like crit. It's crit at accuracy. <laughs> why, why was that his action? <laughs> oh, he didn't want to move away from me because I have opportunists, that's why. I'm not sure what to do. Actually, I don't know what to do. I'm going to over here. Go, oh, hey man, how's it going? Hey, the one next to you is about to get a turn. It's not even knocked down. Oh, well, next to me? Oh, whatever. I can take a hit. No. Who enough but a bitch? <laughs> that's what I do to bitches. You can teleport him away. I'm gonna teleport him away. I can teleport. What can I put him? Well, put him on the one that's 35 health. Maybe I'll die in like next turn. Uh, 35 health. The uh, which one's this? That one that's uh right there. Uh, that's a little awkward, but I think I can manage it. Cause I can't. I can only put him. That's close. I can get him. What have to do? Black. Yeah, they both. They like, worked. Yeah. Let's uh, go ahead and keep the DPS coming. There you go, see now he's gone. See, I'm well versed in tower defense. Oh shit, get out of get out of here. <laughs> Why does he want me? Alright, should I just like uh bull rush through? So apparently I can hit multiple ones with bull rush though. That guy on the ground? That guy is totally on the ground. But no, there's nothing. Yeah, you hit everyone you charge through, I think. Fucking one HP, seriously. <laughs> he'll die soon. Yeah, of course he'll die soon. No. No, stop it. Stop. He's too strong for you. He's like so. Oh my god, he has so much armor. Alright. Welcome, welcome to my final form. What level are we? We're level 6, so. Okay. So this yeah. is an earlier fight that we just didn't do yet. How far are we into the level? Uh, this is, this is juicy, actually. I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. You got it, you fool! Alright, I guess I'm gonna go hit the... The one in front of you gets a move. Yeah... I can do knockdown arrow on if you want. Or maybe I can kill nah, it in two Nah, it's not that important. I mean... Okay, I can kill it in two <laughs> hits instead. <laughs> kill it. Oh. <laughs> Critical hit too, on top of that. Cause he's enraged. Alright, oh, yeah. I forgot you did that. Oh, this is chill, I think. Right where I want you. And you should be able to get him. No, he's gonna hit. No, he decided he wanted to get. You're not trying. <laughs> <laughs> well played. We want to talk. The corpses of Voidlings lie in heaps around you. A miasma of cursed fluid pooling at your feet. <laughs> I forget if I got a line for this, we'll say it anyway. Uh, no worse than a death dog nightmare. Icker and madness, and then it's all over. No worse than a death fog nightmare. Icor and madness, and then it's all over. This is a frightful experience, sure. They came wave after wave after wave. Relentless. Jolly good fun, actually. Well, that was fun. Could have gone a few more rounds myself. Oh, that's it for that. Time to start the looting. Uh, Shadow Essence. Essence! Oh, Essence. That's what I always wanted. A raw lumpy giblets. Well, that's for that's for uh. <laughs> I don't think you get anything for that though. No, I know you don't. Okay, why why can't they press escape to get out of this stuff? Do, do I have to actually use the menu? What? I have too much to carry. Too much to carry. Remember, I gave you the oil barrel. The fuck? I'm I'm like barely on the fucking. Whatever. I'll just give it to Red Prince. Then he'll have too much to carry. Actually, he's just barely in 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 like the good one. 
be fine. Yeah, wait, escape sometimes does work, and then it doesn't work. Alright, you can go sell your shit in town. Because I should probably do the same thing. Honestly, there's a lot of oil barrels here. There's so many oil barrels here. What is the point of oil barrels? Like, what what are you trying to do with them? Well, we can have them tactically on us and deploy them in battle. Okay. Alright. Uh, legit, throwing them at people is actually decent. What, what is this, fucking Donkey Kong? Yes. Yeah, you right? actually can't. Holy shit. How far can I throw? Dude, dude, look, 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 look Okay, one second. <laughs> I do, I do go farther back. <laughs> you go, wait, do you like... Can you log rage? Just, uh, dude, 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 look, look at this fucking barrel. Donkey Kong shit. Look at this. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, it's like... Oh, I see, because it's like... Uh, oh, I see, because it's, it's doing it... Because it's like... Uh, I, I can move into range and then throw it. It's the seriousness of Donkey Kong shit. I'm only carrying one at a time. Game. I'm just telling you this, okay? I don't know why you want to collect them. I don't expect to carry any more than that, honestly. I mean, why would Seabill even have one? Why would you even give one to her? <laughs> just stockpile them? <laughs> I'm just, like, I'm... Honestly, you see what I'm building here? Uh... By the way, there's at a... The, uh, the main waypoint. What the hell is this? Actually, dude, right here. What is this fucking shit? Yeah, you need Wait, to... I shouldn't have waypoint. I gotta come back there. Fuck, I'm coming back. Yeah, I don't know why you even fucking went anywhere. I'm an idiot, I'm sorry. What do you have an IC? I mean, there's shit down here. This is kind of interesting, this place. Oh, I remember this place. I could have teleported here, I think. Like, I was thinking about it. I was like, you were saying, nah, this is not. Alright. Oh, yeah, I saw the bulbs. I saw. Oh, dude, pumpkins. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because there's like a shit ton of bulbs here, so. The mystery of the bulb and the knife. Right, not the bulb and the knife, the pumpkin and the knife. Gotta grab that last barrel. Waste not, want not. Alright. Why is it... still here, a bunch of this shit? I mean, I can bulbs in the middle. probably just jump over it, honestly, but... I mean, I don't see any other bulbs here. They're just on the side there. I, I, the one I put on the right already, I don't know why it's still here. Probably because the cloud doesn't dissipate. Whatever. There's some fire in there. I solved it. Whatever, dude. <laughs> You're just gonna loot and then come back? Uh, I just rang the bell. No sooner have you rung the ornate <laughs> bell than the face of a lizard woman surfaces from behind a rock up on the ledge before you. Her stare is as sharp as the bolt eyeing you from atop her crossbow. Oh good, I can I can trade with her right now. Oh dude, she's got she's got fucking uh pin down, tactical retreat. She's got all the fucking shit for uh 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 whatever. Stand back and keep your hands off your weapons. Convince me you're no magister or draw one last deep breath. Uh say a kid uh called Han can vouch for you. He's uh, he'd be on the orphanage ship by now if it wasn't for your intervention. Her eyes go wide with delight upon your mentioning Han. May the goddess keep you for saving that little Lionheart. Young Han told me the story of his rescue. Oh, you are most welcome indeed. With one graceful motion, the lizard throws down a tangled mess of vines for you to climb. Come, ascend to the sanctuary of Amadia. You'll find you're not the only guest here, but the Great Mother provides for all. Alright, cool. We did it. I, I, I don't know how you're gonna get here, but, you know. I'm just gonna eat shit. <laughs> Delicious. We'll just bring the Yoshi here. I'm gonna poke around, look for anything to dig. The proud man has returned. But yours is the pride, is it not? 
All in this sanctuary rejoice to have Sir Gareth back, but yours is the glory. All right, we did save Gareth. Good. You did well. These Seekers were blind without their leader, but you returned their one-eyed king. I remark that you get the impression that she doesn't like Gareth very much. He is a good man. He will try to do well. But you, I think, will be the one to make the true difference. Tell her that after meeting with Stingtail, you came here in search of another better dreamer. And you have found her. Her eyes grow misty, and for a moment it looks like she's about to hug you, but thinks better of it. Oh, sweet prince, if I think of the perils you have faced, of the indignities you've had to suffer, but know that I, like you, will do all in my power to find your way home once more, unto the very throne. Lay, uh, lay a hand onto her shoulder and say, you've been touched by our lord, so it will not go unrewarded. Thank you, your majesty. But the honor of partaking in your destiny is all the reward I desire. We both know why you've come. We both know where I must take us. The dark. The dark. The dangerous dark. Dream with me, my lord. Dream with me. Might as well. You draw her close, you quell and sleep. Her skin is warm against yours. Her breathing a sea that lures. You plunge and sink. You drown in her maelstrom eyes. Darkness. A hand pressed in yours, tugging you along. Follow. There are things in this unnatural darkness. They slither behind you so quickly, more quickly than you. Uh, press on, you need to outrun them. You know you must. You move through the absolute black, whipped sore by unseen tendrils. Then, suddenly, in the distance, a streak of red, as if a gargantuan dragon opens a solitary eye. Dash for the red, you'll find safety there. You run. You run with all you have. The red eye widens. A solitary sun. Run, red, run, then white. A lazy red once more. A desert camp at sunset. Amid the carpets and perfumed waters stands a lizard dreamer dressed in royal silks. Thank you, Bahara, for leading our sun through the darkness. Welcome be, Red Prince, to the haven in the horror. Thank her and turn you into made without her. Truly, is she a daughter of dreams. With a polite gesture, the dreamer bids you make yourself comfortable. Wine and delicacies await. Red Prince, your majesty, I am Brahmos the Wanderer, leader of the House of Dreams and, unbeknownst to you, your greatest champion. Countless times since your birth have I, and so many dreamers with me, foiled the attempts of your enemies to assassinate your royal person. Until we failed. The last demon you summoned, for power's sake and for lust's sake, she was indebted to those who seek your demise. Of this we had no knowledge. But for the might of your own magic, the House of Shadows would have finally had its way. But for your own awing strength, the day would have ended with your death instead of your downfall. Uh, all right. You sent flabbergasted every day you've learned to be hunted all your life. Indeed not, your majesty. But you live still, and by your own devices. A formidable feat, that much I assure you. All we know is that the House of Shadows seeks to kill you. Their motives are as obscure as their very existence. But I surmise it has something to do with another obscure existence. Hers. He looks aside, and where his eyes lead, a second figure appears. It is she, the secret of your soul. The goddess knew her, and Brahmos knows her too. She who's been in your dreams since the sunburst that was your own dawn. Who is she? She is change. Just as much as you are. She is the true crown. The true throne. The true empire. Vast as the star's domain. Find me, and I will guide you to her. To Reaper's Coast I'll go, and hide in the mist beneath the hamlet of Driftwood. Come meet me, Kindler, Shaper, Father, and wake, awake. Okay, what the fuck is going on? Seriously. <laughs> Holy shit. Be welcome to this sanctuary. What in the Amadi, fuck, dude? we have walked the wastes of Speed. Nightmare and survived, my prince. It is not a feat given to many. Say you ought to slap her like a wayward slave for risking your life without consent. No, I'm gonna thank you for guidance. It was my pleasure. 
The darkest, darkest perilous. But we braved it with worthy ambition. The promise that is Brahmos. You are the dreamer's dream, Red Prince, and so is she. We must know what these visions mean, and we must make them come to pass. Uh, inquire about after the hollow marshes. Well, turn some on the people earlier who might the they guests, be. Guests, they call themselves seekers. They're brave people and friends to sorcerers. But you'll find them a battered band here today, brought low by bloody battle. Uh, who attacked these men and women? The Magisters, of course. Who else? The Seekers came here to rescue a sorcerer from the fort. They failed. Many fell. They've heard the Shrieker shriek. I thank the goddess I'm not haunted by their sound. Uh, tell, more, tell us more about the Shriekers. Have you never heard of them? From the tales they tell of Bracchus Rex, they were living weapons. Made of flesh and reared in torture. The pain they endured was so terrible, their screams turned to solid lightning. Turns out the tales are true. The Magisters dug deep and returned these horrors to the surface. Right, why did they risk their lives for one man? They knew him to be Godwoken. They sought to kindle the divinity slumbering deep within his soul. But Alexander bears no rivals. Only the son can follow the father, or so he is convinced. For him, divinity. For the others, the dungeons. It is truly harrowing to know this man seeks to be the Seven's chosen. Uh, it's remarkable that she's composed under such dire circumstances. To know one's fate is to be fearless. I reside in Amadia's palm. I am hers to shield or hers to crush, and in that knowledge, I am content. All right, back to other matters. Uh, I don't think there's really much else I want to know it about is her. the laboratory of a lunatic. Yeah, we, we know all this. There are ruins in the marshes. Ruins of the Stonework marshes. vultures that perch above the king's long-buried treasure. But his is not a treasure of gold, ruby, and sapphire. It is a treasure of death, weapons, and vile magic. Yeah, is that gold, ruby, and sapphire somewhere else? There is nothing on this isle as valuable as the air you breathe. Don't look for worth in metal and stone. To escape with one soul is enough. All right. Let's go. I don't want to talk to her forever. She doesn't have that much good shit to say. Okay, this is the sanctuary. Interesting. I'll do New Town. New Town? New vendors? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's my barrel. <laughs> I wanted to get the barrel. This is the oh, yeah, all these oh, so much gold in here, man. Uh, God, there's so many people to talk to here. I'm gonna have to go t talk to the stool. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I I I may have pulled a little prank where I uh, brought the stool out from <laughs> underneath her, and I wanted to see what would happen. Usually, their attitude just decreases. They don't want to just fucking kill you right off the bat. <laughs> Draw the red princess. <laughs> I don't know why you want to increase the attitude. Wait, is it all just a ploy so you get to the barrel before me? <laughs> no, I saved it after you got the barrel ready. Because I wasn't sure what would happen. I just I just wanted to try moving the fucking stool. And this is why it's a 3000 part LP. Oh, it's Han. Great to have Gareth back. You'll see now. Okay. Simone. The young woman stares at a trio of bodies. Dead from their wounds, seemingly. Or a hydro... Oh, dude, raw rabbit meat. They're... They're dead. And for what? Alright. My Lucian's not Sam deal. You're in luck, sorcerer. Gareth's back. And he's going to get us out of here. All of us. Spontaneous combustion skill book. Alright. Sounds good. Yep. That's, these are basically all vendors. Who's this no, guy? No, the power broke. There's a dead dude here. He has a skull amulet. Sweet, you can have that. Because none of us have fucking shit for this. Wait, why are there... I, there's a lot of dead people here. I, I feel like I missed context. I think... Oh my god. A bleed, a bleed fire skill book? That, that sounds amazing. Oh wait, no, it's just enemies will bleed fire when they hit. Right, that's, that's for you. I, I mean, I don't want that shit. That is a very large book. Holy shit. 22 new recipes learned. 
Okay, come here, come here. Where are you? Watch this. Yeah? Alright, you need to read this back to back. Here you go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's a very large book. How much is it worth? <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> it doesn't even weigh anything. A yeah, water bottle, I'll take that. Uh, there's extra here. The young man fidgets with his armor and half sword excited. He sees you approach. Alright, this guy has everything good. Alright. I want that spread spread your wings book. Do you? Yeah. Oh, I get it. Oh, I, I could get it too. I mean, I, it's probably better for you to do to have it, but I was more just saying I have a lot of I want to sell. Oh, uh, I said why actually. So, All right, I'll just go around and find some vendors then, I guess. Yeah, just do that. Bleed fire. Why? Why? Why are you giving me the shit? Because I'm just gonna sell it, and you're the better for, You're better at selling things than I am. I was thinking you might want to look at it. You can bleed fire. It's oh, it's a polymorph and it's a kinetic thing. Wait, what is it based on? Enemies will bleed fire when hit. Also creates a small fire surface beneath the target and ignites surfaces in the area. Actually, that right. may not be that bad to, for me to take. Okay, so this is water. This woman sells water. I don't care. Get on my face, Simone. Was it you who saved Gareth me. from the Magisters? You. Uh, say so you did what you could, yes. Seven praise you, stranger. You don't know what it was like for us here. We all thought we were going to die. Now with Sir Gareth back to lead us, and if I know him, he must have found those source weapons, we might actually have a chance at surviving this. Alright, so we now have Bleed Fire skill book. Oh, I, oh, whoops, I, I, sorry, I meant the other one, but you know what, fuck it, I'll just do both, because how do I have Pyrokinetic? Now oh, I must have it for from other things, actually. Alright, so I was told that this is actually not that bad, this ability. Flight. <laughs> Dude, I got the Yoshi power where I get to fly. <laughs> Do you get the star music too? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, fucking, it's so majestic, dude. Oh, dude, dude, this is actually really good. One second. I just realized something. Okay, so this is actually really cool. Look at look at me right now. Actually, is I I I've now realized why people are saying it's actually pretty good. So okay, so you go spread your wings first. So on yourself, you grow wings, and then you can say fly to a nearby point. Look at this shit. Oh, dude, you can leave. Fucking majestic. You can teleport! I'm a majestic Yoshi, get the fuck out of here. Alright, this is amazing, actually. We're keeping this one, definitely. What did I drop for this? A tentacle lash? Fuck that shit. We don't need that shit. We're a majestic Yoshi now. Okay, that, that's actually really amazing. What does that, that person have? I mean, I don't think anyone here has quests, so... Oh, you're just sorry. Oh. Sorry, oh, she's that person. She throws her arms There's a ring here that you grants the restoration you. skill. You're so and gives constitution so and health. Kind, so That's not bad. What a yeah, these people all seem to be all into My thanks, friend. I can't remember the last time I've seen a smile like that. If there's anything we can do for you, you have only to ask. Now he mentions that you're still wearing the source collar. Yes, of course, of course. She extends her arms. Reaching towards you with a look of total concentration on her eyes. You feel the collar start to twist. A living, writhing thing fighting for survival. With a scream of tortured metal, the collars snap, falling broken from your necks. No more choking. No more silence. You'll never be a slave to them again. We're so grateful you're free. And we're so grateful to have Gareth back. Thanks to you, we have hope. Thanks to you, we're going home. I'm free! I'm free now! I'm not gonna bring Beast over to get his collar off. No! I think I think she has her fucking... Yeah, uh, so I have one more collar I can put on someone. It's good to see safe oh yeah, you got... You. They're both Who got there. rid of it? Leia or Duggan? I don't know fucking which one did it. Haha, <laughs> 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 sucker! They're not doing anything. And set their blade. Before you stands a figure wrapped in cloth. As she turns from her prayers, you can see nothing of her eyes except two deep dark holes in an ornate mask. 
We had chicken claw skill book, or fuck? Where did we have that? Look at that ring she has, by the way. Huntsman plus one? No, the other one. Oh. Constitution and HP, and re grants restoration. Astartes yeah, Tears. Uh, you're, you're getting it alone, like, for you find is so... It's a decent ring. So we can get Astartes, uh, sperm fucking ring? Yeah, of course we can. Armadia's blessing. Just, uh, there's dialogue here. So you the beast. Are the one who uh, I'll, I'll... To his flock. Excuse Go yourself, take your leave. Alright, hold on a sec. Uh... Yeah, friend, how does life find wait, you? Wait, wait, I was talking to the wrong person. <laughs> Go. <laughs> friend, how does life find you? Well, I'll be... If it ain't the beast of the sea. Stories of your beard alone fly across Rivalin like flocks of crows. Fair a bit more inland than you'd prefer, yeah? Ain't I know it, ain't I know it. Beast claps him on the back and chuckles heartily. If they hadn't met just a moment ago, you might think the dwarves lifelong friends. <laughs> I don't want to intrude, seeing as how you got your own trials and travails. But I don't suppose you've been to Reaper's Coast of late. Maybe heard of a fella named, uh, oh, what was it? Lohar. Lohar? Yeah, I know of the guy from back when I was looking for fishing work out in Driftwood. He's, how shall I say, an entrepreneur. Still out there a bit, had his stubby fingers and a lot of pies, if you get my meaning. <laughs> Sounds like a man I'd buy two flagons of meat for. One for drinking and one for toasting. I, uh, got something for him. I'll tell him you sent your regards, Mr. Uh... It's Doug and it is. Oh, and this here's Leah. You gotta be sick of that collar. Leah, you can get it fixed up, yeah? Sure thing. And now you're free too. Bet you're glad to be rid of him. I'm Zug. Amazing to meet the beast in flesh. Let's see if we can get you back to sea. Fighting the good fight, yeah? Your lungs have got to be starved for the salt air. Beast chortles and nods, then passes you a sly wink. Such a charm bucket. Okay, so what like what determines when these characters actually talk? Like opposed to the what we normally have, which is like I don't know, bullshittery. I think if it's uh if they're a companion they'll talk. Because yeah. the companion will have like special things where like, aha, yes, this is my dialogue. Uh but for us it's like weird. Tales of the Seven Gods. Don't mind if I do. Oops. Fuck, every time I press escape. I know you'll get that ring. I see like two things on this map here. Hideout and Leia. Who the hell's Leia? Take heart, Leia. You're stronger ben. than you know. Ben. Thank you, Gareth. Is, is that your quest? I can't wait to go home. Okay, I'll go talk to her. The sun shines brighter now that Gareth is returned. I can't wait to go home. Soon enough. Soon enough. Oh yeah, I think it's for you. Because I see it as a red, fl red flag on my map, but there's like nothing here. Alright, talk to the... This Amidst thing. the placid little pond, the face of a goddess lies half submerged in the water. Rivulets stream from her deep-set eyes like endless cascades of sunlit tears. You feel peaceful in her presence, soothed somehow by an intangible comfort. You're intrigued to notice that there's another statue of uh, Amadilla, like the one you saw in the Dungeons of Fort Joy. As you gaze upon her loving face, you find yourself drawn into a trance-like state. A voice seems to reach you from within your mind and from the furthest reaches of the stars. Its whispers caress you like a breeze. Well, listen. The voice grows stronger, like a breeze picking up. What were whispers become words. My children, my children, gone are my children, dead are they in the cradle I have wrought. Uh, commensurate with her plight, her fates are worse than, a uh, few fates are worse than hers. A feeling of indescribable sadness assails you. It feels like your heart merges with the spirits, torn together by a coil of thorns. My child, my child, weep with me. For the mother who has lost, weep with me, and bathe in the tears of Amadia. Without a word and absolute privacy, let her know that you have, uh, you too have much to weep about. 
You feel the goddess's presence surround you. Feel her nestle you tenderly like a mother. Uh, <laughs> in your darkest star, if you're not, you're not as foul, unfallable as you pretend to be. Or let your thoughts wander to palace, pal palaces that you have lost. To Taz and the power. Their loss fills you with dread. Uh, I don't know which one to do. Cause this, this is like this is like he's a fucking weakling. Seriously, fine, we'll do the weakling. No, no, fuck it, no. We lost palaces. You can feel her loving hold slipping away from you, recalling <laughs> as if in anger. Oh, okay, she wasn't a big fan of that. My child, my child, born in blood, a cry in hollow rooms, my own, my own, in blood to die. Heed the warning of Amadia. As suddenly as it came, the voice is gone, and you wake from its presence as if from dream-filled slumber. The pond becomes engulfed in a bloody mist that enshrines an auger-like silence. Alright, well, she was not a big fan of my fucking bullshit. The goddess's what did you do to you? Still stream freely, and all uh, the immutable dread permeates the moist, gaping air. I'm gonna try calling her again once I... Uh, that's, that's it. Alright, so basically what I did was, I was, um... Uh, so we were like, we were like, basically like going like, okay, she's like, she's sad basically, or for some fucking reason. And so we were like, oh yeah, we're both sad and all that kind of stuff. So I had two dialogue options. I said, I can, re like the Red Prince said he can relate to her because there was like a unique dialogue. And then the two options were, one of them was that he's, he's like, I'm not as infallible as I pretend to be because I, like a demon can overtake me or things like that. Or, or the second one was, I lost palaces and slaves and shit like that. And she got pissed when I did that one. Get those weapons into shape. We'll need them. <laughs> you got a silver tongue, what can I say? Yes, sir. Like, she, she made the entire fucking river turn into, like, blood. <laughs> it's like a blood <laughs> cloud blade there. Sharp and true. Yes, sir. Fucking amazing. Well, you know where you stand now. She got pissed off when I fucking did that. This one, a grim faced man, sorts through damaged weapons. He doesn't look up. What do you want? The man grunts in assent. Alright, we're gonna that trade. Old. There we go. Supercharger skill book requires summoning two. Target summon deals 50% more base damage in the next turn, but then dies. Interesting. Um, Elemental totem. Yeah, this guy has a bunch of totems, by the way, and shit. Yeah. And also, Shackles of Pain, Mosquito Swarm, Infect, Decaying Touch. Alright, now this is really that great. And he's also got weapons, but I don't think they're really that great. They actually suck uh, donkey shit, so... I don't suppose you have any... Ambulance Spurdy. Uh, I was gonna ask you the same thing, actually. We don't found many, because I only have one on me. I, I had one, and, and it's, that's not to spare, though. I could have sworn we've had more than this. Phoenix egg. Fuck. Well, I'll give this to... Oh, I see one. I mean, I have... I haven't seen any. I have a basic amulet that does magic armor. I have one that gives telekinesis. Oh, uh, there's a Magister Swordsman here. <laughs> God, I... I pissed off on the gods. It's fucking great. You're a great god working. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just a dickish thing to say. It was kind of funny. Oh, dude. Bottle of beer. Sweet. Alright, so people's gonna get fucking hammered. So, uh, I'll give... Give the skull alignment to Beast, and I'll hand over the Telekinesis Amulet to Red Prince. Sorry, Telekinesis Amulet? Yeah, it gets magic armor and Telekinesis. Because I have one that gives constitution, air resistance, immunity to stunned. That's what That's I got. That's a nice one, but I don't have that. I mean, it's it's the one I have. Okay, I'm going to just put it in my inventory right now, just to show you what it is. That's that's the one. I figured that was the best one for me to have. I mean, I gave you the, like, the, the one, like, Beast is using gives 13 magic armor. That's it. This is 14 magic armor that I have, but it's, as I said, it's immunity to stunned on my character. So. Well, then use it on Sibyl, I guess. You can be Telekinesis for uh, the lucky right. charm. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, okay. Telekinesis for the lucky charm. There have to be lucky charms. I mean, the, the one that uh, Ethan is using right now just gives him plus one wits, and... Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. 
it's like it's it's kind of universal in that sense. I mean, Sibyl really likes wits, though. Divine blessings. It's good to see she, I'm 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 actually that's her one of her primary stats that I'm. Tell you what, I'll trade it then. I'll give you the Sibyl yeah. pendant to Sibyl. All right. Sorry, we don't have any, we don't have anything better right now. So yeah, because I'm all about them crits. Just I liked it because it's a bit of initiative, but yeah, it's not important. Where the hell is this place? Oh, there's another way down. You know we didn't actually make it to the Mysterious Cave, by the way. Yeah, I know, you get sidetracked by this, but this is a town, that's fine. Yeah, well, I'm done in the town. So. Who was the summoning vendor, sorry? Uh, that would be... the fucker that's on the... Like, Karen? The guy that's beside the weapons. Yeah, okay. that guy. Kerrigan. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna trigger a bunch of fights, okay? All right, good man. Hey, yeah, so nothing new. Especially when I, I just... want to end the episode soon. That's this is the best time to do that. Oh, dude, I just got a giant fucking shell. It's it's well, how does it not weigh anything? The fuck? It's bigger than my wibbly wobbly dick. timey wimey. Oh. Okay, yeah. All right, there's some there's some void salamanders. I don't know if I want to talk to them now. And the answer is no, I really don't. Alright, let's end the episode here, so... Hey, uh... I fuck! I am your love of death. Come embrace your cousin. Come repay your You're talking death. to them? Come I didn't get a choice! The end. They're, fu they're, they're fucking posturing. They want to start a Dragon Ball Z fight. I'm gonna fucking... I'm gonna just end I'm them. coming over. Yeah, next time we're gonna do this fight. <laughs> next bye, guys. Next time on Dragon Ball Z! <laughs> Alright, bye.